band has mobility and, and uh, good strength. I think those are the things I'm excited for him and uh, for one in there and see, uh, see him compete. You know, those are the things I mean. We're, we're looking forward to him and what he brings to the table. And Jacob, I know, he told us that in the spring it was primarily a tackle. Is that where you see him best helping you inside with uh, Jared Harrison Hunt and Moultrie and Daryl Jackson and Jordan Miller and uh, everyone you have there? Yeah, you know, those guys, you know, Jacob also has a, a position flexibility. You're always looking for those traits. Uh, some guys, not so much, but, you know, Jacob has got length. Long length, he's full with the, with the techniques, with the variation of techniques because of what, uh, what he had played in the last uh, place that he was at. And so we're looking forward to uh, playing to, to that, you know, to utilize his, his length and his uh, intelligence, you know, and, and see how he can uh, help us out in there and, and be a part of the, uh, the group uh, that we have here now. And Agude as well, Joe, do you look at him as a hand-on-the-ground defensive end? I know he can do outside linebacker standing up in some schemes as well. He's going to be both. You know, uh, Mitchell brings that elite, uh, elite uh, strength and, and, and twitch. You know, and he's also a young man that's played a lot of football. And he's put on a pretty good mass uh, in the short time that he's been here with Coach Feld and his team. And, uh, I, lo I like the way he... Uh, He's building. I like the way he sees football. And, uh, you need that uh, as many good as you can get. And so we're, we're looking forward to that. And just overall, I think those guys uh, has really uh, worked on, on bonding together. And it's going to take a lot of a lot of uh, other guys to contribute. It's going to take a committee of people to do it. So we're, we're looking forward to seeing those guys. Come Two final quick things for me. Just going to ask you about Cyrus and Nigel Leek. With Moss, what skills intrigue you? From what you've seen so far, Moss, Moss can go, go, go from zero to sixty in, in a short time. The kid can run uh, like a deer, and uh, one of the, the greatest things is him being an early in the league. Both of them, uh, with Cyrus, uh, is an uh, opportunity to get reps uh, in the spring and into summer. So that'll give him uh, good momentum going into the to fall camp. And uh, you know, it's uh, our goal is always to get length, speed. And mass and uh, Cyrus truly has uh, a new speed and uh, having a new manager developed. And so having him here early, uh, we're looking forward to him because he's put in work as well. Yeah. So, uh, looking forward to see his growth uh, beginning with the fall camp here. So, and Kelly, what do you think of him? Nigel League, man, what a what a time. You know, I think one of those guys, you know, he was slow a little bit, got, you know, so had to get some, uh, some things uh, going and get healthy. And, but in the summer, he was probably one of the most, one of the most explosive uh, guys that we have out there. And he's, he's, just, he's just not even old yet. You know, he's still young and, and whatnot. But I like, I like the fact that he's learning from some of the older guys, you know, just training hard and working hard. I think he present some opportunities where we can truly get speed on the field and just let him loose. And he's got length. You know, I think those are the things. You, know, you always try to make sure that everybody gets a chance to get acclimated. The transition from high school to college is not the same with everybody. But with him, he was, you know, he was an early uh, enrollee, and so uh, he's now finally in a position. Uh, to gain uh, good health, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to Nigel League to be a part of the, uh, of the committee of people that we're, we're wanting to be uh, to be there when we get this game. So. Are they and Cyrus both defensive ends? In your yes. Yeah. Wonderful. And I'm so sorry. I thought of one other thing I meant to ask you. You're a great coach and don't need any help. But obviously you have Rod, who's a good coach, and Jason Taylor. Just what has Jason brought with his Hall of Fame you, record? You can't. Ex you, can, you cannot... Uh, replace experience, you cannot uh, replace good people. You know, I'm the one that's, um, I'm telling my wife, I'm always uh, pinching myself in the morning because to be in the presence of those guys, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a big deal. Uh, for Not for our staff, but for the position of mentoring these young men. You know, with, with the lure of so many things going on, uh, you, you need a stable of catalyst of, uh, of men that are able to uh, implore and pour into these guys from their experience and obviously uh, Jason you, know, you would never thought that he's a gold jacket individual because he's so low key he's all about you know mentoring and, 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 and 
contributing to the staff in, in, in his own way, and uh, the guys have been really receptive to it. Uh, we're, we're excited. We're looking for it. He brings a lot of the expertise. You know, a guy that did it at the highest level for a long period of time, and Coach Rodney, an All-American at college level, and, and also the NFL. You can't replace experience. And so the conversations and the wrinkles and the nuances that our guys are seeing and feeling at, at particular positions in, in a certain time of the game or, or practice are able to get those uh, feedback uh, right off the bat because those guys have, have played at the highest level. And that's not even mentioned the other uh, uh, individuals in the room that are, are, are truly part of this thing. So it, it's a uh, to say uh, you're excited is, is, is really uh, not even close. Uh, we're, we're, we're tickled. We're, we're, we're really honored to have uh, Jason with us and, and, and Coach Rod. Uh, but I think those are the things, man. We, we, we see the vision. We, we see what Coach Cristobal is all about. And uh, being here on this staff is we have a lot of things on our shoulder, a chip on our shoulder. We want to prove to many people that we, it can happen and it will happen as far as getting this program to where it needs to be. But it starts at the line of scrimmage. Those, those men both played at the line of scrimmage for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so having that experience and, and being able to relate to the teaching aspect uh, and having our guys be able to process those things in a short time in the spring, uh, we're looking forward to getting into the uh, fall camp because the guys know now that they want to be coached. Right. What, Rob might not see, Coach Jason's going to see that. Coach Jason might miss, I'll be able to see, and then so forth. You know, So I think those, we were able to complement those things. And, you know, again, in, in some places, probably ain't going to work. There's, there's too many alphas in the, in, the, in the kitchen. Not here. I think we're, we're all bought in about the vision of being able to put our guys before any of us. And it, it's fun. So appreciate it. So you've got the, the title of associate head coach, so I kind of want to know like, what the dynamic is as far as you know being an associate head coach with Coach Cristobal. I think part of that is just you know, being prepared and ready to whatever the vision and the work, daily work that needs to get done from that, that, that perspective, you know, it's going to get done. And I think, to me, being uh, productive with, with what your role is. My role right now is a defensive line coach is making sure the guys are, 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 are in the room or are attacking the, the field like, like we, we need to and, and, and handling business off the field. But as far as any other uh, responsibility that's come with it, you know, I think those things, uh, you got to earn it. I got to earn the trust that, the, you know, what, what coach needs uh, from other uh, areas of, uh, of the uh, job description is going to get done. You know, I think those are the things. You know, it's just a, it's a privilege and honor, you know, but I also know that, you know, our room has got to be a, a beacon and the strength of our, of our unit. And uh, we've got, we got so many things that we're looking forward to get, get accomplished in a short time, and we're, we're ready for that. But, you know, it's always uh, it's an honor to be here with our uh, coach and uh, continue this uh, relationship. Now, when it comes to recruiting, you and yeah, Coach Wright, how are you guys kind of attacking recruiting? Uh, is it kind of split up into regions or just kind of what's your strategy with you being two, two coaches basically coaching the same position? Yeah, I, 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 it's, it's probably been, the, been the, 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 the most positive one because you're, you're, you're not far off from your, your rhetoric and your narrative to the, to the families and to the players. We're not saying two different things. It's it's precise and it's consistent through and through of what the model is and what our goal is at the, as a program here in Miami. So having Coach Rod and, and his his relationship, because it's all about relationship. You know, to be able to connect with the families is probably one of the biggest uh, positives of having Coach Rod and, and, and myself uh, to be able to pour into these uh, uh, families and the different uh, conversations about what's going to take, what it takes to be an elite uh, player. And part of those conversations too is you know, having uh, credibility. You know, I played the game for a long time, myself played a long time, so we're able to cut through the, the meat and potato of the things that these families and these young men, uh, these young athletes uh, must understand of, of where they need to be and how they need to approach respective decisions and choices. You know, but, uh, I think those things, to me, I've always believed that, uh, you know, 
you do everything as a village and a committee, you'll get good results. And we have a lot of uh, pros on our staff. Uh, you know, Coach Rod brings uh, a pedigree uh, that's helped him in, 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 in his young journey as a, as a coach at the collegiate level. And so uh, it's an honor to have him. Now, when you're up there recruiting and you're looking at, you know, uh, size-wise, there may be a kind of a prototypical guy that you're looking for. But personally, and more uh, mentally, what kind of kids are you kind of looking for to be a part of this program? Well, you always you, you want to dive into those measurables, yeah. You know, it, it's one thing that the kid's stature and length and all those, but you really got to dive into his mental uh, capacity, his, his mental fortitude, how, how is he uh, when things don't go right. You got to look at the film, the things that uh, when, when our team are not winning, what, what's his body meaning? What's his body language? Is he leading? Is he playing hard? You know, in the classroom, you, know, you got to look at the transcripts. How many tardies are showing up? How many absentees are in there? You know, those things you got to do. You have to find out those things right off the bat and, and invest in those because those are the things that is going to give you a chance uh, to understand the kind of young man that you're getting. Because if you're not careful, uh, if it's heavy loaded on the talent and, 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 and talent alone, all of a sudden they get a little adversity. Now you're struggling trying to find that common ground to where you're able to reach this young man to, to do right. And you, it's not, we're not operating like a, a, a switch light where you can just turn it on, I'm ready to go. So those things, part of your, your recruiting process, everybody's different in their process. You know, I think for us, uh, to, to, for it to work here in Miami, if you're not serious about ball in school and, 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 and advancing to the, to the professional ranks, if that's uh, your goal, this ain't your place. But we're going to work hard, we're going to earn everything that we get and how we do anything is how we do everything. And the those things, we have to walk that as well as coaches. It's not just our players, you know, being told to do that. We, we got to make sure that we're all constantly uh, on the same uh, side of the track as we continue to mentor these young men to the vision that Coach Pistol uh, would like to see this uh, program uh, get to. Now, you've worked with Coach Pistol for a while now. Uh, if you could just describe just kind of working with him and just how he kind of pitched the idea to come to Miami and how that all came about. Mm. Uh, simply, hard work works. He's a hard worker. He grinds, he works. Uh, he's truly uh, is there for the players and the betterment of, of these young men and, 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 and their future. Those are the things that's been a big draw from the day that him and I got introduced to uh, uh, work uh, in the same place. And so uh, I think that that's one of the biggest things that it's easier to talk to the families about our head coach because I know that the head coach walks into everything that he, he talks about. I don't know if there's any other head coach that loves uh, the line of scrimmage, but that's the other the bonus of it all. You know, when you have a head coach that's truly right in there with with the big guys, you know, that's puts an emphasis, it puts a stamp on, okay, those guys really truly mean what they say about recruiting a certain level of, 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 of people and, and the quality of people at the line of scrimmage and then right on to the uh, the rest of the team. But I think you know, for a player, you're, you're truly looking for a head coach that can lead when it's tough times.